sunny and warm day. Makes it extra warm in here. Getting some juice on the solar. Yeah, not bad at all. By the way, my little solar light that fell down when all the snow and ice broke it, basically. <laughs> Got the panel glued back on there, so it's good to go. It works. Oh, that sucks. So I'm just noticing that this side is broken. This side holds it down in place, but this side broke off. So... Huh. Nothing a little Gorilla Tape can't fix. You can't even tell, eh? Good as new. Realize too I haven't given a new wood update. I've actually used quite a bit, but my dad ended up dropping off a load of wood to me. Um, he's getting low in wood as well, so he said he couldn't drop off a lot, a lot, but it's enough for me to use in the evenings for a little while. Yeah, so thanks to him, it definitely helps. Um, we are getting some warmer days, so really I will only need to have heat at night at some point soon-ish, I hope. <laughs> the current time of filming, we're getting closer to April, so fingers crossed. Update on the new outlet for the trailer cord. Still working great. Converter still works. Still able to convert power from AC to DC and vice versa. Still more snow than I'd like, but it seems to slowly be going away. Days like this really help. As you can see, I have no snow on the roof except for a small patch above those panels over there. Yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but on really sunny days, it's like the door expands or something. It's really hard to open. I can't... That's what this is here for. Flathead screwdriver. It's tighter up at the top. Yeah, I kind of have to pry it open with that and then have enough of a gap to get my fingers in. When it does that, if it's warm enough, normally I'll just leave that door open and close the screen door because what a pain that that sticks closed and you can't get it open from the outside easily. <laughs> the other door in the bedroom does not do that. It's just this one. Huh. Okay. Eight degrees. I can dig it. We are supposed to get rain, so says this and the weather network. But you see that up there? It's trying real hard to burn through those clouds. And I'm out here in just a sweater, which is nice. Actually, I feel a couple drops now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true. Anyway, yesterday it got to 11 degrees Celsius in the afternoon. Crazy. Crazy. But that has got me super excited for spring and super excited to dewinterize. When the time comes. Do still have some real chilly nights coming up though, so I can't dewinterize just yet, but soon, very soon. Damn, I was hoping this rain would hold off though. I don't know if you can see. I really wanted to get started on this today. A couple videos ago I talked about ordering one of these. It is a propane refill adapter. So I really wanted to at least fill one tank today and just get a feel for it. I'm kind of nervous. See if this rain stops after a while. Um, obviously I can't do it inside. It's an enclosed space. Nervous about it. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why. Maybe just the whole compressed gas thing. But anyway, while it is raining, I think I'm going to head up the School of YouTube and watch some videos on how to do it. And if this rain stops, then I'll come out and give it a whirl. By the way, the adapter that I ordered came with one of these brass caps. So that's cool. I went ahead and ordered, I think, like six more of these for my other small propane canisters. The gauge looks pretty straightforward. Refill, low gas, gas, but... Oh, is that glow in the dark? That little needle looks like it's glow in the dark. So weird. Okay, I watched a video on YouTube of how to refill a one pound propane tank with the adapter that I have. So now I'm an expert. Kidding, not an expert. Still nervous. Probably shouldn't have had a white claw for lunch. But we're gonna give it a try. 
so these are all the propane canisters that I had kept outside and I'm not, whoops, I'm not going to use these now because, well, they're rusty. The latest one that I just emptied, nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to refill this one here. I'm only doing one, this is just a test. So I got my little station set up here. Got a scale, I know that it works cause I just weighed myself and it still makes me cry. The scale, by the way, is to weigh the propane tank. Got this all rigged up, ready to go. What the hell are you doing here? Taunting me? Winter. I just can't get rid of it. Okay, so apparently these weigh 0.8 pounds empty, so let's just see what we're getting here. Hello? Okay, all I'm getting is zero. Maybe it's just not enough weight to even register this propane tank, but hopefully it'll at least register a pound. All right, we're all hooked up. I'm gonna try to get my fingers under here to open this propane tank up. First mistake, this was opened <laughs> right away. Make sure it's closed first. Um, right now we have the gauge showing that it's low, so we at least want it into the gas. I'm going to try to slowly open this, and you're supposed to listen until you can't hear gas entering the tank anymore, and then stop it. I can't hear anything anymore, so I'm going to stop it. Does still freak me out a little bit, not gonna lie. Next, I guess I'm supposed to take needle nose pliers, pull this little needle, whatever this thing is, up, and release some of the gas. That's not releasing any of the liquid propane, it's just releasing the gas. Releasing some of the gas. Whew, that's fumey. Definitely smells like propane. I'm going to stick it back on here. Open this slowly. Oh, wrong way. I don't hear any gas going in it. This Am I doing something wrong? What in the world? Maybe this valve doesn't work properly. Still not registering on the scale. Maybe my scale is boof. I don't really know. Still stuck at low gas. I open it up and the needle moves slightly, but it doesn't go into the green. So I am really confused. Oh my God, I saw what happened, you guys. <laughs> I had the actual propane tank closed. Okay, now you'll notice the needle will move. Okay. Still not registering on here. I turn this back on slowly until we stop hearing the air. This is a strange thing. I can tell you without a doubt this is getting heavier. And if I shake it, I can hear liquid in it, but still not registering any weight. All right, one last attempt at this. See, it moved up a little. It moves up a little each time, but I was told you kind of want to see the needle to the far end of this. So almost to the top of the green. Ooh, is that supposed to happen? Okay, so what you definitely don't want to do when you're doing this with the needle nose pliers and pulling this out, <laughs> you definitely don't want to tip it upside down because that's where you're going to lose your liquid propane because it totally just happened to me on my hands, but I'm wearing gloves, sort of. 
definitely heavier. It actually feels like it's full, but I'm just going to put it on one more time. See if I can get it a little farther on this gauge here. Problem is I can't get it to register on this scale, but I mean, it feels pretty full or like it's getting close. Okay, so this scale is not working. I had the bright idea of using my fishing scale. I know that works. So since it has a hook, the only way I'm going to be able to do this is actually to put my lip grippers on here first. But I'm going to weigh the lip grippers first, and then we can minus that off of the total weight. Four ounces. Okay, we're rigged up and ready to roll. One pound, nine ounces. Okay, this is going to be my last attempt at doing this because it's taking way longer than I feel like it should. I also don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time doing it, so. This is so weird. Each time I open this, it just brings that needle up just a little more. Or maybe it's just really slow at filling it. I don't know. Ooh, this is freaking me out. Oh! Did you see that? That's what kind of freaks me out about doing stuff like this. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Maybe it was. I don't know how often I'm going to be doing this. Yeah. I feel like you need to have a course in, in doing this type of thing. I don't know. Well, we got it up to 1 pound 13 ounces. Um, that's good enough for me. <laughs> it definitely has propane in it. We know that. <sighs> so minus, let's see here, minus 4 ounces. So we're looking at 1 pound 9 ounces. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. My calculator on my phone did a little math here for me. So um, 0 0.8 pounds, because remember this is supposed to weigh 1.8 pounds, is 12.8 ounces. We've got one ounce, sorry, one pound, nine ounces. So we're off by a couple of ounces, but that's good enough for me. It feels full. Um, I don't want to mess with it too much. I have no need to make sure that it's full full. So up, yeah. Maybe I'll get better with that system if I use it a few more times, but it, did, it freaked me out a little bit. Freaked, I'm not going to lie. Put my cap on, and that's that. Yeah, almost one pound of propane, I guess. <laughs> Thereabouts. Still glad I bought that thing, though. I'll get better at it. I'll get used to it, but it did freak me out a little bit. If you guys order one of those, hopefully you'll be better at it than I was. Anyway, I think that's going to be it from me here. Hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in the next. Bye. If I can unattach this thing without blowing up, that would, that would be helpful. Sorry about that, man. Sorry. It's just for the purpose of the video. We cool? Seriously though, you've you've been here for quite a while. You've been here long enough, so any day you want to leave, you know, just I'm just saying, don't don't wear out your welcome. Is that sriracha? That that looks like sriracha. Huh. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Huh. Well, I probably should have done this sooner. I just weighed the full 1 pound propane tank. Obviously, it's got this little plastic apparatus that probably doesn't weigh a whole lot. But this, I'm getting 2.2 pounds. 2 pounds, 2 ounces. Okay, next time, I swear, I'll do better. This, this one's not full, apparently. Oh my god, that's funny. This little needle does glow in the dark. <laughs> Who would want to fill propane in the dark, honestly? I mean, I don't even, I'm not even sure I want to do it during the day. <laughs>